appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. That was always hard for me to get out. Can I ever get the oil? Look at that, right off. Yeah, his motor is kind of dirty, y'all. He got to take better care. What up, though? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E. And I think this was part three. Watch the last video. We got the motor out, the, out of the expedition. Now it's time, it's time to tear the motor down and swap the parts over. Pretty much just tear the motor down and get the parts swapped over to the other motor so it'll be ready to put back in the expedition. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. We're trying to get the get the AC compressor off, get the power steering pump off, and no, we're switching over a lot of stuff that the other motor doesn't have, and taking stuff off the other motor that his motor doesn't have. So let's get to work. Well, first, Bro has to drain the oil out of this motor. Cause he had just did the oil change when the motor blew. What you looking for? 15 millimeter. Uh, you know, I, I might even look underneath the car. So what? What am I worried about? Yeah. He'll be looking for something. He, he thinking the motor's still in the car. <laughs> oh, what you doing? He's like, damn. I thought the motor still was in the car. Think I gotta climb up under the car. 16. I think he's looking for uh, 16. A 16 opening in because he can't get a ratchet when he up in the car. I don't know why, but he was looking for an opening. What the fuck? This guy. Smells like water. Oh, that ain't no good. Yep. Yeah. Wiggly green pan. That's well, water coming out of there. Yeah, he just found out when the motor blew. It's worse than we suspected. He has um, coolant in the in his oil pan. Yep. It's fine. We'll just go ahead. I'll go buy more oil. Now we can really use this. Yeah. So it's coolant in the oil. Let's get some of this good footage. Get y'all in a little bit closer. Here you go, bro. He's trying to save that oil, but he said, get it now. No good. Motor didn't even run and got milkshake. I say first get the oil out, out of it with the coolant. We want to start taking off the AC compressor. The power steering pump, the water pump, the valve covers. And we gotta take the oil pan off. And I have to get this whole housing off, this housing, this assembly off. Cause like I said, and y'all watched the last video on that. Oh, we got the pan up under there because it's going to the pan now. I got to cut some more lights on in the garage. Yeah, somebody said we need more lights. We have lots of lights in the garage, but we don't have any portable lights. We have plenty of lights. Just no lights. When the garage door is open, the lights are up. 
There's lights up there. But the garage door open once you're using those lights. There's a little switch. Well, person that said we need light. See, we got lights up there. But those lights are only when the garage door is closed. Like in the winter, when I'm working on cars. Well, I'm about to get to work. Getting this motor snatched, pull it apart. And Roro tried to save his oil. The oil still look good, but it's mixed. Got coolant mixed in it. So let's get to work. Sensor has been chewed through. You gotta watch the other video of me tearing apart the other motor. But uh, Rose got his uh water pump tube off, swapping that over to the other motor because, like I said, the other motor is Eddie Bauer. So the, the two tubes are different. I'll show y'all that real quick. Show Robo, I'll show you one off the regular Ford Expedition 5.4 Triton motor. And I grabbed the one from the Eddie Bauer. And here's the one from the Eddie Bauer motor. Has an extra outlet, which they plugged it off because they didn't need it. When they could just swap over everything from one motor to the other motor. Well, I have an Eddie Bauer motor that's got all the upgrades and using the upgrades. So we're gonna turn the Eddie Bauer motor into a regular motor because the blocks are the same. The engines are technically, are, they are the same. There's one that got the upgrades, one of them don't. But we gotta take this oil, we gotta take this valve covers off, then he's gonna rotate the motor and uh take get the, the oil, oil pan at, pan off. I don't know, we could rip the front of the front of this motor apart, get it bare bones. We can. And we take, know how to do it quick now. Yeah, get it all bare bones and take the heads off. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that in this video, because we ain't we ain't gonna be able to swap none of these parts over just yet. We gotta order some more gaskets. That's good. Especially for the housing, because the housings are the two different housings for the oil filter. So he's gonna need the adapter, housing adapter, gasket. So we're gonna swap off from here to from here is off. Y'all know what we're trying to say here. Well, the, one engine parts to the next. Yeah, one from one engine to the next. So uh, y'all see this engine is full of water. I don't even know why this engine is full of more water. It must have. Those should be eights. They are. So I guess when the motor took a poop, it just got water everywhere. So I just want to see what the heads look like. I need to sneeze though. <laughs> oh, you can sneeze. What, you look for the eight impact for the. Yeah. Should be yeah. over here. Cause you had the tunnel over there. 
Hey, he has a tent right there. I'm like, shit, I don't mind going through this. Now, I got all that taken apart. Bro, we got the um, AC condenser off. Well, I can say condenser, AC compressor off. And he's like, it was a lot easier when it was off the car to get to the boats. Well. Eight millimeter bolts out of there. We're already going to move valve cover gaskets. It's like 90 degrees outside, but the garage is kind of cool. <laughs> Try to tell, tell my wife to come outside. Oh no, it's hot. It's hot out there too. Yeah, don't even worry about the gas. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just trying to. Uh... You see, we got that added safety. Got it on the engine stand and. Should have got it hooked up to the invoice. For now. We're here making a mess. Should have bought some TV litter. I go on and get some of these. I laid the other one down right up over there. <laughs> Bringing the motor down, y'all. Alright, let me start knocking all this shit out. They got brand new gaskets on this too anyway. Yeah, but you can't use them. Exactly. I, just I, break. I'm not. Yeah, you just want to break the whole cover off of that one. No, nah, but I do have a spare cover now, so. Yeah, we ain't I'm not going to keep it all in. Like, like, you want to, you can break, take that whole cover off of that one and... I'm not really worried about it right now. And look at the, because you can't mess the timing up on that one. You ain't gonna be messing with the timing. Oh, no. Just the cover. Yeah, exactly. So you, you know you want your, these little sensors. Yep. Those are 13s. I'll go ahead and start stripping this whole front side down. I'll move y'all around to the front side. I guess we're. 13s, 15s, 18s. I guess we'd have to do this in time lapse. Because it's gonna take us a little bit, a little bit of time, and we're already in six minutes into the video. You know you got the bigger impact over there too. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna need this big impact for a fucking shit down here. But we about to jump into this and do what we do best. It gives you more of a chance to turn around and actually record.
So we're getting the motor stripped down. We got it off the engine hoist. Wait. I guess, like I said, I guess when the motor blew up, it was uh, very severe because you got milkshake, you know, this motor never ran. Everything got water in it. Everything. But we're about to take the head off. That's the that's the side with no compression. And just just for um giggles. I ain't gonna, I can't say the other word, boo-boo and giggles. That's a break those. Yeah, he's a big boy. We about to pull. We about to attempt to pull the heads off this motor. I won't be able to get it with that one either. No. Nope. Air compressor. Air compressor. What size is that? 13. I got I got a third. Where's my 13 where in the in I'll put that over here. I can't use that one. I just need that adapter. Yeah, here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Yep, I was gonna go with those. That's the good thing about having a garage. Like we do have air tools, we just don't use them. And I think that's how y'all remove the head. Because we're not changing. Okay, the compressor has stopped. The head should come right off. Bam, look at that. Yeah. Oh, you still got a screw stuck? Yeah, I can use the impact on this. He didn't take that the boat all the way out and said still in there. Just a little bit. But I guess this is this how y'all change head gaskets, y'all. I would never want to change head gaskets, head gaskets on this motor. Only if the motor isn't in the car, I would change it. Now that my kids got me doing tiny. And there we go. That should be nasty. Yep, right there. Yep, the valve, the, um, the heads hit the valve. The pistons. The, the pistons hit the valves. Is that right? Yep, the yeah. The pistons hit the, the piston head, the valves. I can see the marks on the on the heads where they got, they got hit. I'm gonna pull that side off too. Yeah, it. it can it can be repaired, but we're not doing it. I don't know where we're going. Oh, 
Oh, take this out. Yeah, yeah the dipstick. <laughs> Bro, like, I can't get it off. Can't get it off. Oh, we didn't take the oil dipstick off. It's attached to the head. I think it's eight. Yeah. I did this too many times, y'all. Worked on this expedition. I mean, I did the valve covers. Like, I know they ate. Gotta take the oil dipstick off. That's what's holding. That's what's holding. <laughs> you trying to wiggle it off, dog. It can't come off that screw in there. But we already having fun. Bro, love disassembling cars. Let's just pull it back. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Well, this side is gonna be a little bit more difficult. It should just spin out. Yeah, try to spin that out. Cause you gotta get the oil pan dip stick out the way. I don't know why he's trying to be all delicate, uh, but sometimes he's. No, I was gonna wheel it back and forth. They don't wanna come out. I know it was hard. It was hard to get man's off on my Pacifica. Sometimes he's don't wanna wiggle out of there. Screwdriver. I was going to do shower locks. Not that soon. I'm going to have some right there. Yeah, so I got an easier way to get these out. I have no idea. There you go. I just squish. I just... She put it out now. Wiggle it. I had to crunch, squish it. So you got an O-ring in it that holds it. Now we should be able to get the head yeah. off. That was always hard for me to get out. Can I ever get the oil? Get that right off. Yeah, his motor was kind of dirty, y'all. He got to take better care of his motors. <laughs> like all this crap up in there. Like, y'all see that? But the motor still turned over. It's full of um, coolant. I don't know when the motor failed. Did the head gaskets fail? Something had to fail. For all this crud to be in the motor. It's only on that side. The valves are full of coolant. Over here, you got a little coolant in the valves. But I'll show y'all where the cylinders hit the valves. So you can see right here, where that cylinder hit the valve, down there, I don't know if y'all can see down there, but right where my finger at, in every little corner, you ain't gonna be able to see that one. In every little corner, the cylinder, where the cylinder hit the, the cylinders contacted the valves. Pistons. Where the pistons con you contacted the valves. It's still a cylinder, well, yeah. the, well cylinder, different cylinders, the pistons contacted with the valves, and uh, messed the motor up. And we learned from that. And I told him, like, stepson, I do not do timing. But now he, they taught me how to do timing. And there's his. And there's his uh, valves. And they are, they do look, they be bent. I don't know which side contacted which side. That one is open, but all these right here, I think these would contact it because they all bent. They bent open. Like I'm not a professional mechanic, but I should, they shouldn't be all be open like that. <coughs> you see on this side, close, open, close, open. Close, close, open, closed. This is the good side of the motor. So you got close, open, close, open, close, close, open, closed. And on the other side, you got pretty much all of them. All of them. Closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, open, open. So yeah, that's how the motor get shot. It would, it would need new. If I had to guess, just replace the valves. 
and uh, resurface the pistons. Yeah, and resurface the pistons. Like we could have did all that. Probably do that. Probably have some room to put this motor somewhere. Probably can save it somewhere. I don't know, but he can. He probably can sell the heads. Put them online. The heads are still good. Heads are not warped. Car never over, overheated. But I, I guess somebody told me the heads are worth money, but the blocks are not. And this is the first time I ever tore a motor apart. Now we gotta take the oil pan off, and that'd be the end of this video. So there you have it. Right. And that what what started this whole motor fiasco. When he did the oil, all this plastic stuck in the oil pickup tube. That was started this whole thing of the motor getting blown up. Changed the oil pan. Gasket on his car is pieces of plastic in the oil pan. Pieces of plastic in the pickup tube. And like, where all this plastic coming from? Then he goes to his valve cover. I keep saying valve cover. His timing right. chain cover, which is right over here. Yeah, the original. Uh, uh. If y'all just, oh, y'all can't even see that. I need more light. But if y'all can see there, right there is a hole. And right in there is a hole where his chain was flapping in there and wore a hole out the oil was just coming all out the motor right in this section right there so that's why that oil his, his motor was covered in oil on the top half now we started this whole thing we're changing the timing chain on it and changing the timing and the guys and that cover and i like yo son i do not know how to do timing i never did timing before you sure you want to put this back together he's like yeah throw it together throw it back together boom <laughs> There goes the motor. It was out of timing and blew the motor. So now we had to get another motor. Not doing timing and we're not doing, well, we're gonna do more timing on other cars, but now we know how to do it. We did the timing on the Chrysler 300M, that which was, that was no problem. We said it wrong the first time, but I guess it's a non-interference motor and didn't mess up nothing. We got to set the, the crank at top dead center. Everything else was set right. So the car attempted to start, but it didn't start. Then we figured out, then we, we didn't set the crank at top dead center. Set that top dead center, car ran. <sighs> like I said, that's gonna, this is gonna be a wrap for this video. Bro, we're trying to get the plastic out of there. I don't know why. Well, then we, we, gotta, we gotta clean up, I gotta run. I'm about to run up, give me some chips for food for less. So I have my chips for tomorrow. Usually on Sundays, I run to the grocery store. But, but I'll say, thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Share this video on, with your friends, your family, your coworkers, on your social media. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we did on the teardown of his motor, seeing what the failure point was identifying what the failure point was and consider subscribing to this channel and we also take cash app donations we also have merch at teespring.com and we have we take donations donations of cars it's all links in the description area below go check out my description area there's a bunch of links down there y'all tiktok facebook instagram go check my links out go follow us on facebook tiktok or instagram and with all that said stay tuned and stay blessed people Peace.